So, having got an idea of what I'm faced with here, I shall rewind the film to the start of this scene. And we run it through largely in, in real time, and I'll put cues in the grading computer at the uh, appropriate places. But the beauty of one of these Mark III type telecines over its predecessors is that it will fast wind back and forth rather like a tape recorder. The predecessors, the twin lens type telecines, um, because of their mechanical and, and optical mechanisms, could only um, run at real time forwards and backwards. So for the sort of activity that we now call post-production, it was quite a drawback because obviously if you wanted to just take a clip from 10 minutes into a 30 minute film, you had to wait 10 minutes to get there. Whereas with one of these type of machines, it fast winds down in a matter of moments at about 10 times real time speed. Ah, this looks very fine actually. It's, um, it's well exposed. I'm not having to put any um, extreme corrections in. It's nice and steady and it's nice and clean. So um, this is good. There we are, bong. Change of scene. Now, unfortunately, this gentleman's been shot out of focus by the original crew. So um, there's not much I can do about that. Out of focus is out of focus. Otherwise, his exposure is fine, but he's out of focus. Oh, there's a change of scene here. This is very different exposure. The highlights, the sky behind our friend here, is very bright and is very dense on the film. So what I can do here, just to even the look of the images out, is put a dynamic change in my grading system. A dynamic change is where I ask the grading computer to put a, a, a transition, a change between two grading settings over a period of time, between two cues. A gradual change to perhaps compensate for a camera movement or a gradual change in lighting on location which might be unavoidable as the sun goes in and out behind clouds, something along those lines. So if I get this right, you're not aware of the change happening because it's the sort of thing your eyes would naturally do looking around from a darker shadowy scene to, to a highlight. The noises you can hear, the bongs you can hear, are made by the Digigrade grading computer. When it was developed back in the 1980s, uh, it was said to be one of the most vocal devices around. At the time, most electronic devices probably made just beeps if they made any kind of noise at all. Right, I think we're coming to the end of the film now from the, the look of it on the, on the machine. And there we are, that is the very end. There's a punch hole just gone through, so that would be in the lab's mark, but that is the end of, of the film.